We begin in Night City, an American megacity located within the free state of North California, ruled by corporations and exempt from traditional state and country laws. There's ongoing conflict from rampant gang wars and its ruling entities contending for dominance. The city's relying on robotics for everyday aspects such as trash, maintenance, and transportation. Despite a high homeless rate, the poor still have access to cybernetic augmentations, giving rise to drug and cosmetic addiction, ultimately leading to violence. The most extreme cases of this are individuals known as cyber psychos, who are dealt with by an elite group of the city's police force known as MaxTac. Trauma Team is an expensive, rapid-response medical service that remotely monitors its clients' vital signs, quickly dispatching security and medics to them when needed. This is a much-desired service due to the constant threat of physical harm in the city, which also allows all citizens to openly carry firearms in public. V, a high-ranking corporate employee, or Corpo, at the Arisaka Corporation, is caught in the middle of an internal power struggle between her boss and his rival. This ultimately results in V being terminated from her position, which also disables her advanced, corporation-provided cybernetics, leaving her in a precarious state of health, mind, and finances. As such, she's forced to start a new life in Night City, having various adventures with local thug and longtime friend Jackie Wells, and a network hacker, or netrunner, known as T-Bug. In 2077, local fixer Dexter Deshawn hires V, Jackie, and T-Bug to steal a biochip known as the Relic from the Arasaka Corporation. They acquire the Relic, the plan goes awry when they witness the murder of the Megacorp's leader, Saburu Arasaka, at the hands of his treacherous son, Yorinobu. Yorinobu covers up the murder as a poisoning, and triggers a security sweep in which T-Bug is killed by Arasaka's netrunners. V and Jackie escape, but Jackie's fatally wounded in the process, and the Relic's protective case is damaged, forcing V to insert the biochip directly into the cyberware within her own head for safe storage. Deshawn, furious at the unwanted police attention, shoots V in the head and leaves her for dead in a landfill. Upon awakening, V is haunted by the digital ghost of war veteran turned iconic rock star Johnny Silverhand, believed to have died in 2023 during an attempted thermonuclear attack on Arasaka Tower. V learns from her cybernetic surgeon, or Ripper Doc, Victor Vector, that Deshawn's bullet and V's death triggered a resurrection nanotech on the biochip. He advises that a side effect of this is that Silverhand's engram, or digital personality construct, will irreversibly overwrite V's brain in the near future. The biochip cannot be physically removed without immediately killing her, so V must seek out an alternate way to do so and survive. Another side effect of the relic is the reliving of Silverhand's memories, during which V learns that in 2023, his then-girlfriend, Alt Cunningham, had created Soul Killer, an artificial intelligence able to copy a person's mind through their neural links, creating an engram, but also destroying their brain in the process. Arasaka kidnapped Alt and forced her to create their own version of Soul Killer, which would store the minds of its targets in Arasaka's digital fortress, called Makoshi. Silverhand led a rescue effort to save Alt, but failed to reach her before Arasaka used Soul Killer on her. Silverhand sought revenge through his nuclear attack on Arasaka Tower, but was captured and had Soul Killer used on him as well. By 2077, Arasaka was advertising a Secure Your Soul program, conducting secret research into transferring an engram into a living human brain, the concept which gave birth to the Relic Project. After much work to gain additional resources, allies, access, and information on Arasaka Corporation, V decides to allow Silverhand to take control of her body and team up with his old crew, who together mount an attack on Arasaka Tower in order to gain physical access to Makoshi with the help of Alt's AI engram, having her use Soul Killer to separate Silverhand from V's body. After successfully using Soul Killer, it's discovered that the damage to V's body is irreversible. V, now also an engram, can be transferred back into her own body, with her unchanged, very short remaining lifespan, or Silverhand can be transferred back into her body, living a full life, just as the Relic's nanotech has been preparing it for. V decides to keep her body, and Silverhand merges with Alt, along with the other engram stored to Makoshi, as they disappear together as one being into the internet. Having finally met her goal of becoming a very successful person in Night City after all the work done to remove the Relic, V resides in her penthouse manor high above the city streets while planning one last job. With limited time remaining before her death, she aims to immortalize herself in the world's memory by committing a heist unlike any that has been seen before. The infiltration and robbery of a gigantic, high-security space resort casino. As she nears it in her spacecraft, she dons the helmet of her suit and begins her final approach.